Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the questions that I've had about the uh, Windows uh, 10 and 11 operating system is about the uh, graphics processor temperature, the indication of temperature that you have in the task manager. So if you right click on your start menu in Windows 10 or Windows 11 and go into the task manager you will see in the performance tab that there are different options CPU memory and so on and some of the graphics processors will actually even have the temperature written so um, how accurate is this information and should you rely on it depends on many factors one of them could be um, the graphics processor you're using some of them are better at reporting their temperatures. So here I have the AMD Radeon that's reporting 44 Celsius, 45. Uh, here's at 45 Celsius for the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX. Um, in some cases it could be in Fahrenheit, but for a lot of people it's in Celsius. Um, now, how inaccurate or what's a bad reading? Um, so the comment that I have and the question goes with the fact that uh, the um, viewer says that is CPU temperature seems to be wrong. It doesn't seem to be correct. And I don't know how exactly um, that is verified and what he means by incorrect. But I know that, yes, it is possible that the temperature readings here and the information that is present in the task manager aren't uh, correct. In my case, they always seem to be pretty much on dot. So if I play games, I'll reach, you know, 60 degrees, 65 degrees on the G4 sometimes with the fans, of course, spinning at high speed. And quickly when you stop playing, well, you know, the temperatures go back down. Uh, so you might wonder why the temperatures rise when we use, um, you know, graphics intensive um, games, for example. Well, it's very simple. It's that like a CPU, which is the central central processing unit or the brain of the PC, as they call it, uh, when you use your CPU or if you use your graphics processor more, which means it now has to do multiple calculations, you actually activate much more transistors in it you actually activate the processing power that it's capable of giving. But in the negative side of this is that the more powerful and the more you ask the graphics processor, the more heat it will actually generate. And so this is why we have temperature readings. And often uh, here, in this case, for example, I don't have the CPU temperature reading. But sometimes some will see temperature readings on their processors. And of course, there's third-party apps that will often give you details and information. If you don't see it in the task manager, there are some third-party apps that can actually go and get that information from the, um, the different parts that do have that information available. Uh, what can make this wrong several things I've seen in the past uh, GPU readings that are wrong because the sensor is just simply incorrect um, even I've seen defective sensors that m actually made computers shut down and uh, the only way to have it working is to go into BIOS and say well you know don't don't look at the temperature don't mind it doesn't matter uh, sometimes it's because it's too tight sometimes the uh, temperature range that is accepted is too small depends on you know the the, the type of uh, GPU and so on so bad sensor is not impossible uh, driver the driver that actually makes the uh, hardware work in Windows might be faulty that will happen and that can give bad readings because of that uh, of that reason uh, it could be some glitch that just prevents the task manager from viewing the temperature correctly. It might happen also. And um, pretty much all CPU and GPUs do have temperature readings, but sometimes some of them cannot be read by the task manager. Once again, third-party apps are available. And 
as we are here, might as well check that out. If you do have temperature readings, what's the normal temperature reading? It depends on your hardware. Some hardware gets hotter than others. So it depends really on the hardware that you have. Uh, but, you know, if you see your hardware going to 70 or 80 degrees Celsius, it could actually be normal. Um, there are online information on each of the graphics processors, for example, or on the uh, CPU, the central processing unit, Intel and uh, AMD, do have information about the temperatures and, you know, what's the max temperature that you could see in a reading. And uh, all of those are anyways pretty much in, with protected. So you'll have a shutdown happen if there is too much heat, for example. Another glitch that could happen is if your fans are not good enough for the uh, the GPU, for example, that I've seen many often, or the fan fails. One of the things that happens is it becomes too hot. This can actually create blue screens. If you have blue screens of death all the time, check your temperature readings. Maybe they're in the really too high of a range, and usually that happens after a certain time, a certain amount of time that the PC has been turned on. But uh, there are several reasons why temperature readings might not be okay. Um, the uh, question comes from a viewer that says that when it's not right, he just restarts the computer and it comes back to normal. So looks like maybe some glitch in the driver or in the way that the, uh, the, the sensor works and that the temperature readings become faulty at a certain time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.